Hey guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well. I know I am. It's been ages since I've said that and it's been ages since I made one of these videos. Uh, but it's uh, good to be back doing it. Um, I did a little video, uploaded it to Instagram and a, a few days ago actually I think. And uh, it's a little arpeggio sequence that kept me occupied for that morning. Um, as I say, it was a few days ago and uh, a couple of people asked if I would be uploading an explanation video tutorial video for that sequence so here I am I'm going to explain um, what I'm doing at the start of this video uh, so before we do that though uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already there's loads of people that are watching my content but aren't actually subscribed so make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell and all of that good stuff right why don't we get straight into it so um, it's nothing overly complex this. I've purposely chosen to keep the tempo on the slower side rather than uh, you know um, blasting through it because I think it's really important to get the, the left hand fingerings down. So that's why I kind of took my time with it. Um, and there are a few challenging moments in it. Uh, so I'm gonna take you through each different arpeggio. Uh, what we have is we have this kind of like vo ascending voice leading thing. It's a bit of a cliche thing. It's a bit like uh, this kind of thing. Okay, but it happens on the, the, the A string in the middle of the arpeggio. So uh, let's, let's get straight to it. Okay, we start off with an A major seven arpeggio. Okay, so let me show you exactly what I'm doing here. So. Okay, and we want to try and keep this, this fingering, so I want to keep it consistent with the fingering to make sure it sounds and smooth and flows well. I think it, I did it slightly differently on the Instagram video, but hey ho. So we're gonna go, this is the way that I do it anyway. So down stroke, then a hammer on, and finger two here, finger one here, and then a hammer on to three. That allows us to continue with the next portion of the arpeggio. So nice and slowly. Three, two, one, hammer on, and then we get ready for the upstroke. Descend with the same fingering. Okay, simple enough, right? Okay, great um, uh, arpeggio shape, that one. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep everything the same. We're just gonna change one note. So we're gonna take the fifth degree of that arpeggio, and um, for the next arpeggio, we're just going to raise it by a semitone. So we end up with this. Just keeping everything else the same, right? Okay, once more. Now here, uh, I'm going to actually use a slightly different fingering. I'm going to use one to two because we don't really need three. If you want to use three, that, that's fine. Uh, but I like to use two here. I'm doing a partial bar here with the index finger, so two bar descend, same fingering. Okay, once more. Okay, good. Third arpeggio. Keep everything the same apart from the inner voice here. Um, and we're going to move it up a semitone again. So. Here, what I do is I roll with a little finger to get the same fret. It's a little bit awkward, but you know, nothing that uh, good practice won't solve. Okay. Descend. Just be careful of the notes bleeding together. Okay, good. And then the fourth arpeggio is just a straight ahead A7. So instead of moving it up to here, we're just gonna move the fifth back down 
to here just to make it easier. Why not indeed? So. Okay, so that's the A7 arpeggio. Okay, uh, we actually finish here, but we're gonna move up to D, so fourth higher from A. And we're gonna play a D major seven arpeggio, so the same shape as we played, same fingering as the first arpeggio. Two, one, three. Okay, let me do that once more. Important you get this fingering right, because it really helps with the flow of the arpeggio, okay? So then we're gonna play this arpeggio. We just keep everything the same, but flatten the third, so it's like a minor major seven sound, right? Use the second finger, half bar. So it goes from major seven. Minor major seven. Okay, then we go down to A major, and we're gonna do this hybrid picking pattern that I tend to use a hell of a lot, because I love it, that's why. Okay, that's the, the ascending portion of it. Okay. Sorry, I meant to do that. And then when we descend, we do this. All together, that's... Bollocks! <laughs> you can actually pick it, of course. Using alternate picking, so if you want to do that, that's fine. I prefer hybrid picking. Okay, so we're here. Then we're going to play a B7 arpeggio, which sounds like this. Same as the, the A7, just, but just at the 7th fret. Okay. Then we're going to do an E7, but we're going to start here on the B. Okay, we finish with this chord here. So that's open, 11... 14, open B. So that final arpeggio. Slide. <laughs> okay, so let me play it nice and steadily. go that's the arpeggio sequence in its entirety uh, I have done the tab so I don't know whether I'll be putting it on the screen hopefully I will if not I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can download it for free for gratis okie dokie that wraps up today's lesson uh, just before I finish make sure you check out my website it's a great way to support what I do so that I can continue to make videos like this um, Link is in the description box below, so lots of HD guitar lessons and all the rest of it. Uh, as I say, it's a great way to support what I do. Anyway, I'll shut up and I'll leave you to get on with practicing. Okay, thanks for checking in and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.